Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar with me this evening. Uh, tonight, checking out my second beer of the night from Vale Brewing Company. Uh, just got done reviewing uh, Dirt Nap <clears throat> right before this. Um, Really good beer, enjoyed it quite a bit as my second review from Vale. Uh, for this review, I am checking out uh, Master Master Shredder Shredder. Uh, this is the double dry hopped version of kind of their flagship beer, which is Master Shredder. <clears throat> As a huge Ninja Turtles fan, I'm a huge fan of the name of this beer. Uh, but this is a double dry hopped Wheat India Palo, clocking in at 5.5% ABV. Are you paying attention, people, because they put stickers on their cans for their limited release beers, but they still managed to put the ABV. Weird. Um, so yeah, this comes courtesy of my man David, who sent me a couple of Vale beers. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. Um, I've heard that the base beer for this is really, really good. And uh, I haven't heard anything about this. I tried to look a couple things up online. I couldn't find really anything about it. Um, it's not much in the way of reviews out there. And uh, I couldn't find out what hops were anything in this. I'm going to make an effort to at least find what hops are in these beers before I review them. Although at the same time, it's kind of fun to kind of pick out the hops. So, whatever. This pours out like straight. I mean, I say it all the time. Haze for days. This is kind of a, if you mixed like lemonade and orange juice together, that's kind of the color you're getting. And uh, just looks, I mean, you're not getting any light through that at all. Um, big, big fluffy head, I mean, two fingers right there pouring out, and I didn't pour it crazy, crazy aggressive. Um, I mean, 5.5%, you're not going to get anything crazy in the way of alcohol legs, but I'm getting some good glass lacing, so that tells me it's a really well-made beer, good grain bill, um, good retention. So it's looking really, really good in the glass, guys. Let's dive in, see what it smells like. Well, this is a, I mean, for 5.5%, this has a great nose on it. Huge. This is one of, like, the most, and I watched a review today that talked about people who say that they smell orange juice and orange and creamsicles and all that crap and beer are full of shit. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm not wrong. <laughs> to me, this smells like fresh squeezed oranges. Just, like... Seriously, like you just took it, forked it a little bit, and just squeezed it out into a glass, like that just fresh over, almost almost to like a high C orange kind of level. Big, big orange, some dank tropical notes in there as well. A little bit of pininess. But yeah, just overwhelming, just kind of dank orange. Um, or, I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what pops are in this, but I mean, it's so orange for it. Almost makes me wonder if there's like some amarillo in this, um, or something like that. This is killer smelling. Yeah, no, this is one. I mean, for a five 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 point five percent beer, this smells incredible, incredible. Uh, I can't wait to try this, David. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. Oh wow. Wow, man, that's good. First off, for 5.5%, the mouthfeel on this is fantastic. I mean, it's not like creamy chew or anything. That would be basically impossible. But it's definitely medium to medium plus. Um, got a nice, like, orange peel, like, bitterness to it. Orange grape peel pith. Um, bite, just kind of that bright, biting bitterness. Well, by some just really nice, just dank, resinous, piney, um, actually some West Coast elements to this beer. But you're getting that, like, really nice orange and pineapple. And I, honestly, I feel like I'm just, I'm not saying a lot, but just it's really orange forward, like really orange forward to me. Kilber carbonation, just velvety across the tongue. Super easy drinking great great just nice clean finish um but yeah i'm just getting like this fresh like seriously like not like artificial like orange juice or anything like that but like you just squeeze it out into a glass kind of orange and when i like squish it between my teeth it almost tastes like high c just a smidge i mean we're getting some really nice green kind of hop matter kind of um as my man joe puts it 
Elum, it's just that piney resinous, like that bright bitterness. A um, little bit of grapefruit. Picking up a little bit of the malt bill. I mean, it's hard to hide that in a 5.5% beer. Um, just a little bit of that kind of crackery malt. To be real honest, I'm actually really sad that I only got one can of this. This beer is fantastic. I'm trying, this is, it, it's very reminiscent to me of something. Oh, I wish I could have drank these head to head because there's a beer local to me that I did a review of that I have a can sitting right here. Every, everything rhymes with orange from Rough Tail. This is actually really similar to that beer. Um, I think that's why this was really familiar to me as soon as I started drinking it, because I've been drinking the crap out of that beer. Because it's local, it's not terribly expensive, and it's awesome. This is really similar to that, with a little bit more body, a little better carbonation, and just kind of a better overall feel. But the flavor profiles are very, very, very similar. I'm going to crush this beer. Wow. Yeah. <coughs> That's a killer. I mean, I, I can get why this would be a fla uh, this would be a killer flagship beer for a brewery because it's clocking in at five point five percent, and you're just not. I mean, it's super easy drinking. It's awesome. This is this is a fantastic beer, guys. Um, as far as grade, it's weird. I feel like I'm sitting here saying like I didn't say anything about this beer. It's orange. <laughs> No, but it, it really is. It's not It's not terribly, terribly complex. This is actually like a really nice, like mid, kind of a mid-coast style. Like it's, it's, it's got West Coast elements, that bitterness, that grapefruit peel, that aspect of it. But it's super, like, got some juicy elements to it as well with just this simplistic malt build. It's just a killer, killer beer. Wow, this is good. Um, as far as a grade, I mean, this is, for what it is, this is fantastic. Um, I'm going to go... I mean, right there, it's in that world-class range, guys. It's right in that 97 range. I mean, that's where I'm going to go with this. Fantastic beer. David, thank you for sending this, man. Um, I've got one more beer to review from Vale. I don't know when I'll get to it. Not tonight. I've already had two. <laughs> this will be my second beer of the night, and that's good for a Monday. Um, but killer, killer stuff. I can't wait. Hopefully they start releasing. I'd love to try like just the standard Master Shredder to see what it tastes like, because um, I think that would be an insane. I say all the time, golf course beer. So... Um, yeah, we'll do 97 out of 100, guys. Uh, this was fun. I like Bill. Um, and I will say uh, a couple things. Uh, first off, because by the time this one comes out, I might even be there. Um, first off, I know that I've been doing a ton of IPAs lately, and I'm going to try and get some flood some other beers into here, uh, here pretty soon. But just when you get a bunch of them at the same time and you want to drink them fresh, that's what happens. Um, but I'll try and mix in some other ones here. I, I got a stout I'm going to do here pretty soon probably maybe tomorrow actually and then um i'll try and mix it up a little bit because i know not everybody wants to see ipa reviews all the time but it is the season um secondly uh i'm less than 15 away from 600 subscribers so not officially the announcement because i still got to go pick up my glassware and figure out how i want to ship and all this kind of stuff so uh, as far as like when people will be able to buy stuff we're not to that point yet because i got to figure out shipping but um i'm gonna give some shit away though so when i hit 600 we are randomly uh, going to have a video right after that. And what will happen is the day I hit 600, I'm going to record a video that night. Um, so it may get plugged in in between stuff I've already recorded. So I'm going to plug a video that night of just some random beer. I don't even know what it's going to be. Um, but then anybody that comments on that video, I don't care what you comment. You can tell me I'm a douchebag. It doesn't really matter. Um, anybody that comments is going to be entered into when I'm going to give away one of these and I'm going to give away a glass and um, yeah whoever comments I'm going to randomly put into a spreadsheet have it randomly pick two people first one will get a ball open or second one will get a glass and uh, I'll message people for their addresses and we'll get everything sent out to them so uh, that'll be fun I'm looking forward to it Looking forward to it. So thanks everybody for subscribing. I, I keep, I'm, it's just, it keeps picking up momentum, which is awesome. It is greatly appreciated and it makes me keep doing this because if people stop subscribing and I didn't get as many views, I probably would kind of tail back. But since it's picking up, I feel like I need to do the same. So I've tried posting some more reviews. When I filmed this one, I've got eight that I have that are uploaded that I'm just kind of waiting to roll out. So, um, yeah, 
Anyways, good times. Thanks for coming behind the bar, guys. Thanks for the likes, subscribes, and comments. And uh, David, thank you very much for the beer. I greatly appreciate it. You and people like you are what help, help, helps keep this channel going. So cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm.